Understandings, you've got to do something, Gromit. No, I've got to do something. I must go and speak to Miss Grit at once. I apologize and explain it was all a terrible mistake. I'm sure Miss Blit will understand. She'll probably be relieved when she learns I wasn't proposing marriage after all. It's not as if we've much in common. Oh, oh. Well, I suppose there's nothing for it but to, uh... Ooh. Oh, Major Crumb. Yes? Ah, morning, Wallace. I've come about a professional matter of the utmost delicacy and secrecy. You have? Oh, wonderful. Uh, step into my consulting room and tell me all about it. Seems I'm going to be tied up for a while, Gromit. Uh, on business, uh, why don't you go and put your ear to the ground and find out how the land lies next door? Have you got all you need to get started? Uh, not quite everything. Dash it, what more can I tell you? This object you've lost. Lost something? Who has? Ah, yes, I just remembered. Oh, yeah. Yes, something that means a great deal to me. Uh, go on. Oh, Merely porridge, Major Crump. Carry on. Rub it, please. This is a matter of the utmost importance, Wallace, or I wouldn't have come. If there's any information gathering to be done, my eavesdropper is just the tool for it. Eavesdropper? I like the sound of it. So, uh, uh what have you lost? An object. I suppose we can start hunting for clues with my super clue snooper. Capital idea. Still, for a start, could you tell me what the object... By the way, Major, what do you think of me new painting? Why, it's very... By George, it's a masterpiece! Hmm, well, uh, that's a poser. An imposter? Where? Uh, no, I mean it's a problem because we... Out with it, man! Spit it out! Oh, uh, well, although we at Golden Retrieval believe the customer is always right, we may find it a little tricky to uh, uh, um, retrieve your lost item if you can't identify what it is. I didn't say... You came so quickly! Of course, Felicity. An urgent summons from one's only living relative and heir to one's fortune can mean only one thing. Man trouble. Now, who is the blighter this time? I'll box his ears if he's been toying with your affections. Oh, no! No trouble as such, Aunt Prudence. Yeah, but, well, there has been an important development on the matrimonial front, which... Pardon me, Aunt Prudence. I think I spy an ugly little intruder. I positively love fungi. Come, let's 
go inside for a cup of tea. Have you chamomile, child? Man trouble always makes me hackles rise and my petticoats fluster. a little picker. Yes, um, inventions and such like. Uh, Andy Mar? Well, you'll obviously have to put a stop to the inventing. Certainly not in the house. Can't be tolerated. Oh, oh no. Far too messy and intrusive. Well, I think you've told me all I need to hear. Um, so? So long as he doesn't leave his contraptions lying around all over the house, he sounds very suitable, Suter. So our engagement has your blessing? I don't see why not. Unless... Yes? Unless, of course... Well, he's not... He's not a member of that... Place, is he? That appalling country club whose name alone makes me shudder. You mean, prickly thicket? Oh, yes. Oh, heavens, child, you know our family history. We flits have never associated with those dreadful prickly thicketers. Oh, you needn't worry, Aunt Prudence. Well, this is the prickly thicket type. Mr. Penea? Constable Dibbins, delivering the mail as well this morning? Aye, the post is off sick. He's got the mumps and I've got the um. Sorry to hear that. Her Majesty's mail must be delivered, and PC Ernest Dibbins has never shrunk from duty, even when such duties aren't even part of his blinking job description. Here's your post. Ah, couldn't help but notice the coat of arms, Mr. Penea. A prickly thicket, isn't it? Happen? So, you remember then? Hmm? Oh, aye, aye. Practically the second home. Is it now? That's a very interesting coincidence. I was just saying to myself the other day, Ernest Dibbins, it's time you joined a... Oh, my! Excuse me, Constable. What are you staring at? Get along now. Back off. Caught him trying to nick your letter. The important one from <coughs> Prickly Thicket. Oh, that's only the envelope. I've got the letter here. Not bad news, I trust. Oh no, quite the reverse. It's my turn to propose a new member. Is it really? Well, I never. It's a heavy responsibility. Not everyone's cut out to be a prickly thicketer. The candidate must be a gentleman of impeccable character. Someone who's always there for a friend in...